Hey everyone, I work as a Rodopin artist in Method Studios and I am always curious to find ways to make my work more efficient. Such a video is this, so stay tuned. Cool, so we are inside Silhouette and let's do some manual paint or I would say auto paint. The first step is to track the area of work. And as most of you knows how to do that, I am gonna speed up the process here. Okay, wait a minute, we have an updated frame range. So I'm going to delete this old track. Now the first frame is 60 and the last frame is 100. Perfect. Now let's continue the tracking process. Cool. So it looks like my track is great and let's take a paint note, connect the pipes to the respective nodes. Okay, here I'm gonna use drag tool uh, to do some touch-ups. Looks like the removal is done. Let's use this auto paint option. For that first, select the track layer from the roto node. Now I'm going to paint some custom frame range and it's 60 and 100. Make sure match move is checked on and let's click on this button. Yes, the paint is done automatically here. This is the beauty of Silhouette. Keeping the original work range here. You can see the paintwork is done till the work range as per our need. Now let's render it out. Connect the output node. And you can see there are two output streams in this paint node. The first one is for the whole input to be rendered. And the other one is more efficient I would say because that is the paint only option. Which has an alpha which can use uh, to be pre multiply later in Nuke. Save the path for the render. Here check the alpha option as we need to pre-multiply it inside nuke as we discussed earlier. Once you are done with the settings, click on render. Make sure the range of render is custom uh, and let's type in our range here. You can see the start frame is 60 here. Uh, I'm gonna keep all the rest as it is and click on render. Here you can see this is the benefit of paint only renders. A render will be fast and efficient. I'm back in nuke here. Let's import the paint out render from silhouette. You can see the input range is 50 to 120 and our silhouette render is just 60 to 100 which is quite good. Also you can see the paint out with the alpha here. So we are going to take a merge node and let's merge it. Okay so this is not we need and this issue is happening because we need to pre-multiply the RGB with alpha. Okay so we have some more issues here. Cool so that is because of the stupid decision of rendering JPEG in EXR. Uh, temporarily our problem is fixed. Cool, so the work looks decent now and the only issue is here after the work range, uh, the paint render is floating there and here. Uh, you can see here, just after the 100th frame it's happening. Also here just before the 60th frame too. Okay, so we can fix this by going to the read node settings. Um, keep the frame range settings to black for first and last frame. As you can see the issue is fixed and our paint out render is just visible like in silhouette. If we view the paint out render, we can see the render is having this issue. Let's make it hold again. Uh, you can see the render is floating again. This is not the real issue. Now let's discuss the real issue what it is. Let's suppose we have many such paint renders and it will be very hectic to do the same for every renders every now and then. Let's see how we can make this more easier. Also if there are any missing frames in between the renders, to avoid render error messages, we can make it as black here. Now let's keep it as default. Now let's suppose we just imported the silhouette render inside Nuke and instead of manually changing the settings, I have a tool in my efficiency menu. Uh, the name of the tool is silhouette read fix or we can press F1 as a shortcut for that. Let's see what it gives. Okay, so it didn't did anything right now. Why? Because we need to select the read node or the paint render. Wow, everything is perfect and you can see it automatically changed the settings as well. Cool, so I hope this will help you in your work and as always I have mentioned the link in the description of the video. Check it out. See you in another tutorial. Bye-bye.